but I got interested in archaeology um, because of Eric von Daniken. I don't know if people still remember Von Daniken, but when I was a, a little boy, his books were enormously influential, especially his Chariots of the Gods. And I had wanted to be an astronaut, and people kept telling me, Britain doesn't have a space program, so you can't do this. But I didn't listen to them. And I, I kept wanting to be an astronaut until I went to the movies one time to see uh, another film altogether. But before the main feature, they ran a short movie based on Von Daniken's Chariots of the Gods, uh, all about aliens visiting the Earth in distant history and I decided archaeology that is the way to go so I um, decided to become an archaeologist and uh, I, I, as I went on with my studies I really liked doing field archaeology and going off and doing excavations but I always felt that to to understand the, the big picture how things fit yeah. together you needed to combine the archaeology with the history and so not only have you know, distant times and aliens coming from another planet but be able to take the story the whole way up into modern times as well your book's title, Why Does the West Dominate the Rest? Yeah, so I think um, Western domination isn't really going to be explained by things like great men or accidents of history or even culture or religion or politics. I think it's all driven by geography. Uh, which is a very simple answer, of course, to a, a big and complicated question. Uh, the reason that history has turned out so messy and why uh, a one-word explanation for a question like this might seem a little simplistic, the reason it, it's all been so messy is that um, on the one hand, I think geography drives how societies develop. But on the other hand, the way that societies develop changes what geography means. And so the centers of power and wealth in the world have shifted around as the nature of the societies has changed. So the earliest farming societies have to be in very particular places in the world where there's just the right kinds of rainfall and plants and animals. Then the earliest cities had to be on, on great rivers so they could trade with each other and irrigate their fields. And the earliest empires had to have access to the sea so they had much bigger trade routes and ways to move their armies and taxes around. And then in modern times, um, once there were ships that could cross the oceans, having access to the North Atlantic like people in Northwest Europe did, this became the great advantage. And then the most recent period of all, in the last 50 years or so, as um, technology has changed and transport has changed, access to the Pacific Ocean has begun to become more and more important. And so we saw the rise of the United States in the late 19th century, then in the late 20th century, the rise of East Asia. So I suggest in my book that geography really answers the question. Do you see any factors that the West could lose this advantage that it has over the rest? Yeah, I think uh, the West has risen to global dominance because of the ways geography changed its meaning in the last 500 years. And the forces that change the meaning of geography keep on operating. And this, I think, is why we've seen the shifting of wealth and power away from the West toward the East in the last 30 or 40 years. And this, I think, is just going to accelerate in the 21st century. And as the century goes on, the gap between West and East is steadily going to decline. Why would you give those people out there who are interested more uh, in these topics other than just reading your book? <laughs> Yes, I think um, a, a topic like the one I've written on is one that's a very global kind of question. So it's great to have a chance to come over to Europe and talk to you know, a whole new set of people about these problems and hear from them, some of the perspectives that people here have. And so um, I think, yeah, reading my book is definitely a good way to go. But I think also you know, traveling around the world and um, seeing the way people are dealing with problems in different places. Great, great. Well, we thank you very much for your time today. Thank you for the thank interview. You.